In tonight's breaking bond, a mother says she is outraged after a judge substantially lowers the bond for the man accused of killing her son. Fox 26's Randy Wallace is live from the Harris County Jail with her reaction. Randy. It appears Jeremiah Brown wasn't able to come up with $15,000 in order to post his $150,000 bonds. Now he only needs five grand because his bonds were lowered to $50,000. This is him and his great Dane Cooper. December 15th, 2019. It would be the last time Terry Tondra saw her only son, 25-year-old Keith Tondra Hardy. He told me, he goes, Mom, give me 45 minutes. No, give me an hour. I'll be back. Instead of Keith returning, two detectives were at Terry's door. I don't care why you're here as long as you tell me my baby's okay. Terry's youngest child was not okay. Sheriff's detectives say 21-year-old Jeremiah Brown shot and killed him during a robbery at 5350 Arrow Park Drive. He was going to shoot somebody that day. In July of 2021, Brown was charged with murder. His bond set at $100,000. You got a $100,000 bond for murder. Then you got $50,000 bond for the possession of a prohibited weapon while in custody. Deputies say Brown had a shank in the jail. If he made a shank, he was going to do bodily harm to someone else in jail. Recently, 263rd Criminal District Court Judge Melissa Morris lowered Brown's bond for murder to just 35000 and his other felony to 15000 How do you justify reducing somebody's bond on murder who gets charged with another felony while in custody? His court-appointed attorney asked the judge if he could get out to take care of some business you know, wrap up some loose ends. He didn't give my son a chance to tie up any loose ends. I've only seen one other defendant charged with murder that had a $35,000 bond. While wiping off his headstone, Terry wishes she could go back in time and clean up crumbs Keith left behind. And my pet peeve was, you've left crumbs. Why can't you wipe them off? Now it's like I wish I had crumbs all over the place. Jeremiah Brown is still in jail, but is expected to bond out soon. Reporting live from the Harris County Jail, Randy Wallace, Fox 26 News.